In this example, we want to integrate the function of x squared times x cubed plus 5 raised to the 6th power. Okay, so to, to do this, we're going to use the substitution method. Okay. All right, so we're going to let u okay, be equal to x cubed plus 5. Okay. All right, so we choose u to be in, in the portion that's inside the parentheses. Okay, so we have u equals to x cubed plus 5. Okay, so from here we're going to take the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so we have 3x squared. And so this is the same as du equals to 3x squared dx. Okay. All right, so... So far we have u to the sixth power, okay? And notice that for here we have, right, we have an x squared and dx. So what we can do is we can isolate this part, okay? And then that will convert x squared and dx in terms of u. Okay, so from here we have one third du, okay? So we can isolate x squared dx by dividing both sides by three. So we have, one third du equals to x squared times dx. So that means we have u to the sixth times one third du. Okay. So this is going into here, here as well. Okay. Okay, so now for integral we have so one third u to the sixth du. Okay, so one third is a constant. So we have one third times the integral of u to the six du. Okay, so this is going to be equal to one third times u to the seventh over seven. Okay, so we end up getting one third u. Okay, so we can actually go ahead and we have one third times one seventh, so that's going to give us one over 21 times u to the seventh power. So u was x cubed plus 5. So we got x cubed plus 5 to the power 7 plus some constant. Okay. So this is the the integral of our function. In other words, this is the antiderivative of, of our given function. Okay. And so we got this by using the substitution method for, for integrals.